Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Maddie and I just wrapped up the first year of my PhD in chemical engineering at Montana State University. And I also did my undergraduate in biological engineering at Montana State University. And today I'm going to talk to you about why you should choose Montana State if you are thinking about doing biological or chemical engineering. There are so many good things about the program here and I wrote down basically five main points I wanna talk about but I think it's an excellent program. Montana State is a fairly affordable school, especially if you're from Montana or a wooey state, um, which is something that you can look into. But anyway, let's get going. Number one, I wanna just emphasize that the professors in this program are so, so awesome. They're such awesome human beings. They care about the students so much as students, not just as like another face in the classroom. Pretty much all the, you know, yeah, I think all of the professors that I ever had learned my first name, even when I was in classes that had 100 or so students, which was really, really awesome. Um, and that just shows how much they care about you on like a personal level. Also, the professors get along really well with each other. Um, and that makes a really big difference about the harmony of the department. They will work together sometimes to avoid having tests on the same day or on the same week or something like that. Not that can always be avoided, but they get along great with each other, which makes it a really harmonious department. And they also get along really great with the students, like I said previously. Um, they're also really fun and they know how to take a joke. And there's something that is that goes on every spring and it's the um, senior banquet within chemical and biological engineering. And at the end of the banquet, after all the awards and everything and all that sappy stuff happens, comes the roast. And in the roast, first the students roast the professors, and then the professors roast the students back. And that is really fun. It fosters a lot of camaraderie within the department because you're able to kind of talk with these professors on like a more personal level, not necessarily a I'm the professor and you're the student level. It's much more of a, hey, we're just two people talking to each other. We can respect each other equally and also just make fun of each other, which is fun. And it just, again, shows how good of a time all the professors have in the department. Um, another really nice thing about a lot of the professors is from my immediate memory, they have pretty much all worked in industry as well as in academia which is nice because they can come to you with some like professional advice if you're thinking about going into industry and they can also kind of tailor their lectures a little bit more to speak about their industrial experience, which means that you can kind of learn a little bit more of the like, why I care and why this matters <laughs> and how am I going to use this in my job of the classes that you take. But they can also give you input about going to grad school or getting an academic position if that is something that you are interested in. So the professors overall are just amazing. I love them all so much. Um, next, each one individually, chemical engineering and biological engineering are four year programs. You can get it done in four years quite easily, honestly, in my opinion, I guess. Um, but you can also do a double major so you can be a chemical and biological engineering double major program and I think that usually takes people four and a half to five years which is still pretty quick. I know some colleges like Colorado State University they just say hey you're an engineering program it's gonna take you five years like that's just that's how it is it's a five-year program here it's a four-year program and it's quite doable in four years in my opinion. I got mine done in four years with two minors and being in the honors college and doing research for two and a half of the years. So you can do it, you can do it. Three and a half of the year, two and a half, two and a half of the years. Um, but yeah, so it's really nice that you can get in, get your engineering degree in four years and get out for people who just want that degree to go into industry or something like that. Whereas some schools, it is just a longer program. Um, also, it's a program that has a lot of really great research opportunities, which is like the third thing that I have that is makes it so great. The CBE, which is the Center for Biofilm Engineering, is affiliated with the Chemical and Biological Engineering Department. And the CBE is the world's largest, most well-known, and oldest research center dedicated to biofilms, which is awesome. I've worked there for so many years, three and a half years at this point, four years? 
something like that, three and a half years. Um, and it's an excellent department. There's so much cool research going on, especially if you're into more of the biological side um, of that chem and bio -y type thing. Um, if you're into working with microbes and microbiology, but there's also a lot of things going on in the CBE that aren't necessarily purely biofilms and that are far more chemically oriented. Um, and there's a lot of professors in the department that have their own research labs that might not be affiliated with the CBE, but in some way might be. So I know a couple of the professors work with NMR and MRI, so uh, nuclear magnetic resonance and fluid mechanics and stuff like that. There are some professors that work with like organs and labs on a chip. So microfluidics and trying to get things really small and doing all these biological and chemical assays with them. A lot of the professors have their own research labs and if they don't have their own research labs, they have previous research experience and they can still connect you with people for undergraduate research if that's something that you're interested in. Also, number four, there's a lot of alumni at big companies that came from Montana State and came from the chemical and biological engineering department, specifically like 3M, which is a massive company, and a lot of graduates from chem and bio -E go to 3M. Um, there's a lot of MSU graduates at 3M. There's a lot of MSU graduates at Boeing. I know a couple of people from my class that are at Boeing right now doing chemical and material science and engineering. Um, and then there's a lot of people from MSU that are in BP or a bunch of these different oil and petroleum companies. There's a lot of alumni from my class even in ASP, which is Advanced Sterilization Products. And it's just a fact that you are more likely to get recruited to a company that has a lot of alumni from like your college because they're like, oh, I went there. I know that's a good program. That's going to be a good person to hire because I know that they are going to come in with really good background knowledge. And so it's really nice for like career fairs and recruiting type environments to have people in the company that went to the same school as you. It's just how it is. It's how networking and connections and all that work. And so there's a lot of really big companies and even some smaller companies that are still really important in the chemical and biological engineering space that have a lot of workers that are MSU alumni. And then number five, one excellent reason to come to MSU is that there is now a biomedical engineering minor. Uh, it is just a minor. If you wanted to do a major, I think you'd have to go to like maybe, I'm going to say Colorado State again because it's one of the other colleges that I know the most about. Um, but you can add in this minor and if you're in biological engineering, it takes maybe one extra class and if you're in chemical, it takes a couple of extra classes, but it goes really well with a biological engineering major as well as the dual major and you can just add in like one to maybe three extra classes to get that minor which just looks a little bit better on a resume and I was able to add it again without any extra classes which means not any extra time and so you can add in a minor without having to extend the length of your program which is really nice but overall the department is just excellent the quality of the education that I received I think is excellent as well as the one that I'm continuing to receive in my grad school but the biggest thing is just the department is it's a it's not massive but it's not super small so it's quite tight-knit especially the farther that you go into the program the more and more you're going to get to know your classmates and you're starting to do a lot of group projects and so you start to form these really strong connections with people that you're going to maintain as well as connections with your professors and everything like that also if we're talking about just the college in general it is quite diverse in comparison to some of the other colleges of engineering at least on at montana state we had a pretty high ratio of like bipoc students or just students that weren't white americans there's an exchange program from the university technical university of istanbul i want to say is what it's called so there's a lot of turkish students in the program because they can go spend a couple years at each university and get degrees from both of them in chemical and engineering so that's just really fun because there's all these different um, international students. We had a higher ratio of um, women in our college than a lot of the other College of Engineering's, as well as just people who had different like sexual orientations and people who were just not necessarily the stereotypical what you think of when you think about a College of Engineering in Montana. 
if you can just kind of connect some dots in there. But I really, really enjoyed my time in the department. I'm so happy that I will be continuing my time within the department. And there's also some awesome departmental scholarships that you can apply for through something called CAT scholarships. You just do this like massive mass application and it applies for you to a bunch of different scholarships and throughout my five years at MSU I've been able to secure departmental scholarships for three of the five years so that's another really great reason to come to MSU in general and it's more specifically for the chemical and biological engineering program. If you have any specific questions about the program, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I unfortunately don't know a whole lot about other programs at Montana State because I'm not in them. <laughs> but that wraps up today's video. Like I said, please let me know if you have questions in the comments down below. I love answering them and talking to you guys if you're thinking about coming to MSU. And I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.